UConn and head coach Randy Edsel. Uh, UConn is 1-3 and three overall, 0-1 in the American. Huskies played at Syracuse this past Saturday. Syracuse won the game 51-21. to uh, UConn returns home on Saturday to face Cincinnati at Pratt & Whitney Stadium in East Hartford. The game will be at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. will be televised on CBS Sports Network. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the game at Syracuse, please. And what you expect to see as you get back into league play uh, Saturday against Cincinnati. Well, again, you know, against Syracuse, we uh, did some good things, and we did some things that um, didn't allow us to have the opportunity to win. And, um, you know, what we have to do is just become a more consistent football team um, with all these young guys that we have. And uh, uh doesn't get any easier this week, you know, with an undefeated um, Cincinnati team. Every team we've played this year has been undefeated when we've gone in to see them. So, again, you know, we're just uh, – you know, we're a work in progress, and what we're going to do is just continue to work each, work hard each and every day and get these young guys better, and you can see them get better, and that's the, um, that's the thing that uh, you're looking for. Take questions for Coach Randy Edsel, please. Star 1 on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, then the operator will introduce you. Thank you. We can now take our next question from Dan Tortora of wakeupcalldt.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good morning. Uh, just to speak on in that Syracuse game, uh, David Pindell obviously was out there for a while, and then Marvin Washington came in. Just what you saw from Marvin and, and what you think of uh, both of the guys going forward, because I know Marvin was able to get you down the field and do some good things despite the loss. Uh, you know, I, I had to answer this yesterday on, on our local reporters. There, I mean, don't. There's no con quarterback controversy. I took David out, you know, because of where we were in the game. David is an outstanding quarterback. He's done the things that you've seen him do. Marvin went in and made a very good throw on the first play, and then made mistakes throughout there. Marvin is our backup quarterback, and we want to get Marvin to get better each and every day. And David's our starting quarterback, and uh, David has played extremely well um, this year. Things he's got to work on, but. Um, you know, it's great that we were able to get Marvin some snaps, get some uh, plays under his in his uh, uh, experience log, and um, that's all I have to say. And then, as far as uh, UConn and in the and in the uh, Syracuse game, Syracuse is a team you know historically that's done some good things, but has taken some time to work to get back. UConn, same type of team, you know, that had had some good moments in the past. It's working to get back just what you can say about what you're seeing from this team despite the record of you know that that work to build the culture and build the environment and create that culture of winning just what you're seeing maybe be put in place the second time around for you at UConn well you know I, I think any time that uh, and, and you know it's well documented and you, you kind of get tired of talking about it each and every week we're, we're just um we're a young football team, and we're playing our, the young guys. They're not big enough. They're not strong enough yet. Uh, and these are, the, these are the things you have to go through when you're, you're you know, rebuilding a program. And uh, you're, playing guy, you're playing your best guys, and those, those guys have, uh, especially on defense, you know, those guys are, uh, shouldn't be playing, but they are because they're the best guys you have. And, you know, you're going against, uh, you know, teams that are – senior and junior laden, and um, it makes it tough. But the one thing I do like, the kids are playing hard. They're giving us everything they have. You can see them getting better, you know, each week. And now what we have to do is try to get consistent, you know, all the time with everything we're doing. And, um, you know, and some of the – a lot of the, you know, some of the issues that we're having is because of the people that we're playing. You know, when you take a look at the schedule and – you take a look at the records of those people and, and the, uh, the teams that they have. You know, the, the, the people we're playing have a lot to do with, you know, maybe us not making some of the uh, – being a little bit inconsistent with what's happening. So, you know, it's something I've been through before, and, you know, the one thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure we do it the right way. There is no easy fix. Uh, we can't go out and get – a bunch of transfers and do a lot of those type of things maybe other schools can do due to uh, some of the academic uh, requirements that we have here. So, again, we're just going to do it like I did it before where you do it with young guys and you, you get them in your program and you build them up and you get them strong and, 
and uh, then hopefully by the time they become fourth or fifth year seniors, you know, you'll be able to redshirt some of these guys coming in later on, and then you'll, you'll, you'll get the program where you want to get it. Thank you, Coach. Good luck moving forward. All righty. Appreciate it. Andrew, any further questions for Coach, Coach Edsel, please? Star one on the telephone keypad, if so. Which if I could just get maybe a, a few words about uh, what you've seen from uh, Cincinnati uh, thus far and the challenges they might pose for you on Saturday. Well, I've been very impressed uh, with Cincinnati watching them on tape. I mean, when you look at their, their very senior-laden team uh, offensively, uh, you know, up front, uh, you know, four seniors and a junior uh, playing for them. Uh, Desmond uh, Ritter is coming in and done a really good job for them. Uh, Michael Warren's a big, strong uh, back. Uh, and then defensively, they, they're very aggressive and really get after people. Cortez Broughton, you know, is extremely explosive, quick off the ball. So, again, you can see why – uh, Cincinnati's undefeated. You know, they, they, they have a lot of uh, older guys that are playing and, and guys that are playing real well. Um, and so, again, we got a tremendous challenge, but uh, Luke's done a nice job with those guys and, uh, you know, they're playing extremely well and playing with a lot of confidence. Hey, well, thank you for your time today, Coach. Look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.